Imposter Murray stole Jeffy's pencil, and something strange happened to him. Drop a like if you love Jeffy, and let's begin. So something strange happened to me while I was playing Among Us. I was trying to summon Imposter Murray, and I was a shapeshifter. I walked on pole lists looking for crewmates to eliminate, but I couldn't find a spot to shapeshift. The only spot that I had was Murray's hole. I shapeshifted into lime, and I saw something on the floor. It was Jeffy's pencil, the same one from the airship. What is it doing right next to Murray's hole? I had to ignore it because I was running out of time. I had to eliminate someone. I stumbled upon Lime's body and I had to eliminate Blue. He somehow reported the body. I then received a strange message and it was coming from Murray. Bring me that pencil, Chari. Pass it over. Why would I ever help the King of Polis? We all know with my previous encounters with Murray that he's not friendly. There is no possible way I'm letting Murray get that pencil. I went back to Murray's hole and I took the pencil that was on the ground. Who knows what Murray wants to do with it. If he really wants the pencil, there must be something important. I called Reactor and I went to go get the final elimination, earning me the victory. It was a new game and this time I was a crewmate, but things did not end with Murray. I went to go check vitals to see if any crewmates were eliminated, but as I was checking the doors closed on me. That was strange. Does that mean that the imposter's nearby? I was making an escape because I was really scared. I opened the doors, and I couldn't see anything, which caused me to drop Jeffy's pencil, and I saw something behind me. Was that Murray? I'm pretty sure I just saw his head. Murray sent me a message. Chari, I saw you drop that pencil. Can you please hand it over? I need to use it. Stop being such an uh uh uh. I will not stop until I get it. The lights were still off, but what is wrong with Murray? And why does he want the pencil? And why is he making Jeffy noises? I went back to Murray's hole, and I stood there while the lights were off. I saw Murray's hand come out of that hole, and he was trying to grab me, and I ran away. I caught the shapeshifter and I reported the body. Murray told me, expect me to go after you, Chari. Murray really wants this pencil, but why? I was then ejected. Things with Murray did not end there. I was peacefully doing my task. I kept hearing the sounds of a creature, and I wasn't sure where the noises were coming from. I was about to enter the admin room, but I saw Murray's head right in front of me. Is Murray expecting me to drop the pencil? Murray was starting to scare me because he wasn't messing around. He said he wasn't going to stop until he got that pencil. But I know that if I give it to him, things could end very bad. I knew that one of the safest spots on Polis was the specimen room. I was thinking of coming up with an experiment to eliminate Murray. But while I was in the specimen room, I heard a noise outside. Could that be Murray approaching me? Wanting to eliminate my crewmate. I had to get out of there. And I knew that I wasn't safe. I went to the telescope. To see if there was something strange happening to the planets. From what I can see, I couldn't find anything out of the ordinary. Hopefully there's a spaceship nearby. That I can use to escape. Once I got done with the task. I saw Murray's head right behind me. And my mini crewmate looked really scared. Why is Murray after me? Pink then called an emergency meeting after they witnessed Murray. Murray then told me, Chari, I will wipe you and the crewmates in one second. If you don't hand over that Jeffy pencil, I will not stop following you. Murray was clearly not messing around. I still had several tasks to do, but I ran in every corner. I wasn't sure where to escape, but then I remembered the door on the dropship. So I went over there trying to escape, but I could hear Murray. The door was locked and Murray seemed to not be happy that I was trying to leave him. I knew that the safest thing I could do was to stand right next to the camera. Hopefully the crewmates can protect me from this terrifying creature. But then I saw something come out of the vent. It was one of Murray's hands. 
Murray was trying to make his way over to me, but he was too big to come out of that hole, so he was trying to use his arm. I ran out of there and had to find a place to hide. The best place that I found was in the boiler room, where there was just a bunch of water. I still had tasks to do and I knew that this could be another way to get out. I had to stay inside to ensure my safety. If I step outside, there's a good chance Murray will eliminate me. But I had to get to my next task, so I had to leave. Luckily, after several minutes, I finished all my tasks. Until my game began to glitch, and I was randomly teleported into a brand new game with new crewmates. Are these crewmates working with the imposter Murray? We all know Murray is a king, and maybe these are his minions. I did a task in communications and I had to do with the radio, but coming from the radio I could hear the sounds of a creature. This creature sounded a lot like Murray. What could possibly be happening? Why is Murray so obsessed with Jeffy's pencil? I then went to the edge of the cliff to try to get rid of this pencil. But then Murray appeared and he looked really scary. Why is Murray here? It's almost like he knew I was about to eject this pencil and get rid of it completely. Murray then sent me a message. I am growing tired of you, Chari. You are going to regret it. Okay, that made me a little bit nervous. Why is Murray so obsessed with this pencil? I returned back to the game, and I was really upset at Murray. I went to Murray's hole, and I decided to send him a few messages trying to taunt him. But then, I accidentally dropped the pencil in the hole. I did not mean to do that. How am I supposed to get it back? So I decided to jump inside. Inside of Murray's hole, it was pitch dark. I couldn't really see anything, but everything around me just looked gray. This is Murray's hole, and I don't see Murray anywhere. But then, on the floor, I saw Jeffy's pencil. Okay, now I see where the pencil fell. I didn't realize that Murray's hole was this deep, but just as I was about to grab the pencil, I heard a very loud noise coming from the left side. I then saw Murray, and Murray managed to grab the pencil. Murray then began to transform, and he had a brand new form. He was now Jeffy Murray. This was Jeffy and Murray's hybrid. I was really shocked at what I just witnessed. Why did Murray use Jeffy's pencil? I then heard someone go, uh, 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 right behind me. Well, you look at that. Jeffy was now behind me, and his head looked huge. Was Jeffy hiding with Murray down below? Maybe Jeffy was the one that accidentally left the pencil outside, and I was the one that picked it up. Murray then eliminated me, but this is not over.